peux faire ça aussi. Oh, oh, Qu'est-ce qui se passe? En fait, on pas la Oh non! <rire> oh non! Maman! Oui. Hello everyone! This is never ending renovation of the old house. C'est pas très méchant. We have a crack in the facade and it doesn't look really good because it's go up till the window and Chris um, want to repair it before the winter, before we have a lots of rain. He says that it's going to be fine after he repair it. And it's very sunny today, but last week we had lots of rain with a storm and a strong wind and um, the fog. I actually really love the fog. And uh, we didn't see our mountains for a few days, but uh, today everything back to normal. We have a really beautiful blue sky. It's very difficult to describe a weather in October because uh, some of you are asking what the weather would be in October or November. Well, in October, uh, you see, yesterday was winter, today is summer again, but it's still warm. And uh, on the sun, it, today would be uh, 25 degrees. Matthew is very worried like his mother about the, this crack, so he wants to repair it himself. <laughs> I have some apples that uh, last Friday night, uh, when I uh, come back from work, I saw on our uh, portail somebody left it for us. So I decided to film you what a special moments we have in our village. Et coucou. Oui, je suis. Oh, chérie. Regarde, il y a quelqu'un qui a nous laissé nous laisser les pommes. Normally after work on Friday night. Oh, chérie d'amour. <laughs> I'm not filming, I'm tired, all I want to go back home and take a shower. Spaghetti and sauce with the boulettes of viande. Chris finished earlier than me and he's already wow. cooking. We're going to do what with spaghetti? Spaghetti! And uh, it was a perfect evening to film with apples and uh, Chris is preparing some yummy sauce. Normally, you know, after work in the evening, we just uh, put something in the oven, um, already prepare it. And uh, now it's 6.20 and I'm so happy to be home on Friday. I finish earlier one hour earlier than than the other day so at 6.20 normally I'm stuck in a traffic and uh, I will arrive an hour later but today it's Friday and let's cook some spaghetti with the yummy sauce I really love when Chris cooking because uh, he takes his time and he always says that for the sauce you have to keep the sauce 
um, it's much longer. Matthew. So our simple dinner is ready. I guess everybody loves the pasta. Now when all dishes in a dishwasher, Matt is sleeping. I have my time and um, I'm gonna work on editing the video. This is a very special time for me because I'm, I'm working on my dream. I love what I'm doing and uh, I wish I have more time to answer all your lovely messages but there is no way I have I wish one day I will and um, I just want to thank you for all your support it's uh, very important and uh, very inspiring so thank you guys thank you all of you Let's go back to our sunny day. Uh, we feel so much energy today because last week, whole week, we were like a half sleeping because of the weather. And today we feel so much energy and we want to do lots of things. First of all, we will do an apple juice, but uh, not a fresh apple juice, but boiled apple juice because these apples thanks to our beautiful neighbor we still don't know who left it for us um, this is these apples are from garden uh, but they are very very sour <laughs> and not at all juicy so um, we will not make a fresh apple juice because we will not have it a lot uh, we will boil it with the sugar and you have like a like a, it's also apple juice good thing that you can keep it for many days in the fridge and uh, Matthew call it uh, iced tea it has the same taste than an iced tea almost the same taste <laughs> it's time to go outside we will not miss this sunny day. Our church. This is good because we always know what time is it when we hear the, the bells. The weather is so beautiful today. You see the sea very clearly. And this is where we go. We're gonna go to the beach because we have an, uh, an appointment. We will meet a friend, a friend of Matt. So with his mother, we decided to go to the beach uh, at Cap Dai, and uh, and yes, hello. This is uh, this is our um, locals. <laughs> they are on a parking just in front in front of the school. This is normal thing to see the donkey on the parking spot. Let's go and uh, just we drive it a little bit we found this fallen tree because of the strong rain last night and I was afraid that the road is cut but it's okay I'm sure on the way back we will not see it anymore the locals will cut it for a wood for the fireplace so let's we show you this beautiful road. We are going to Kapdai. 
which is uh, right near the Monaco and uh, this is exact way I'm taking every morning to go working it's uh, very strange for me that I'm showing my way to go to work <laughs> um, now we are at uh, Boussole this is a small town just next to the Monaco you can feel like you're in Monaco already here it's very beautiful very well maintained and uh, there are no really a line between Monaco and Beausoleil you know I feel always like I'm passing some invisible gates between our village the mountains the nature uh, into another world and uh, so now in a short very short distance we are in Monaco already so it's like in 30 not even in 30 minutes you have a, a, a huge difference of paysage and uh, and uh, environment and everything here we are just in front of the Monte Carlo casino it's just in front of us over there and um, now we are driving through the Monaco this is the Hotel de Paris um, the back side of Hotel de Paris and you know that sometimes I'm doing these videos, the walking videos, and uh, it's true that I never made any videos about Monaco, like a real part of Monaco, of uh, Cartier de Monte Carlo, and uh, etc., and the port, which is just near us, because um, I feel it in many different ways and I'm not sure which way I wanted to show um, I think I will figure it out one day and I will make a video about Monaco uh, for now we're still driving to the beach and um, we take a, a tunnel at the end and this is my working quartier. I'm working here, guys. Um, and I will park my car at the parking uh, where I work because I have this uh, magical uh, card, the Monaco parking card, uh, which allows me to park my car. Um, and uh, here we are. We are at the beach. Plage Marquet at Cap Dai. You see there, the other side of the beach, you see the working quartier of Monaco, <laughs> Fourier. And uh, this is Cap Dai. There is also no line between. This is a beautiful beach. You can rent a paddleboard kayak very beautiful and thin sand and the color of the sea there's still some people swimming we're gonna wait our friends here I changed the mat um, uh -oh. I put the shorts on him but he was asking me why didn't you take a swimwear, I mean like we are in the end of October et ben voilà Oh mon dieu Mais content He gonna be wet, he is already wet before even his friend arrives How can you resist? this beautiful water <laughs> after we spend the time on the beach we were hungry and we went to exact same boulangerie where I'm taking a lunch sometimes if I don't have a lunch with me 
and uh, we're gonna while we are here we're gonna show you a part of um, uh, okay let me explain you now we are in Fonvier already because as I told you it was just uh, another side of the beach at Cap Dai and uh, this is Fonvier area which is Monaco and uh, where everybody is working most of the people are working because here um, there are all buildings with their office says oh my god I have uh, troubles with my English today and uh, now we are uh, at the port of Fonvier so um, look at this uh, beautiful boats and uh, you see L La Roche um, the rock and on the top of this rock is uh, the old town of uh, Monaco with the, with the castle if you will visit Monaco you will visit the old town and uh, the castle here on the Rocher and um, if you see the flag that means the prince are in the castle if you don't see it which we don't see today that means he's not in a castle and uh, at this port of Fonvier this is where I'm taking my lunch every day <laughs> um, with the um, with the friends colleagues and sometimes with Chris because he's working also in this area and you see now um, you see this there is no fashion and glamour everyone with his with their sandwiches and uh, it's still Monaco but uh, this is another side of Monaco that I know uh, this is the part of Monaco where everybody is working and um, yeah taking their lunch you see you can just take a coffee here uh, at the near the shopping mall and um, this is huge part of uh, Monaco called Fonvier where you can also can uh, find the Musée des Timbres this one and uh, just in front of us uh, musée, bah, c'est pas musée, it's um, parc animalier. Okay. Et moi? Where you will see a few poor animals and also some birds. Um, if you are tourists in Monaco, I don't think you will visit this park. It, I think it's more for uh, local kids. But the thing is that you have a very good panorama of the area where I'm working and uh, and if somebody will tell you that he's working in Monaco, he's probably working here too. Well, enough of Monaco. Let's go back to our magical gates and um, let's go back to our beautiful village. This is another day, another beautiful sunny day. So this is a good time 
for washing and cleaning. Last week, as you know, we had a, a bad weather, but the beautiful thing that the sky is amazing during the bad weather and I was always outside like I was checking every 20 minutes this beautiful sky and I wanted to record it because it will never be again the same We also have some changes inside the house. Math, Matthew ba bed is broken, so we're gonna change it. And um, Chris is still repairing Comment something. On t'a laissé les carcasses, tu sais, du lit. Hein? Ou après? Hein? From outside. And um, this is, yeah, this is, this is it. This is our daily village life. And um, I want to thank you again for everything. And uh, je vous dis à bientôt. Take care.